Okay, last question. We are going to solve this 3 by 3 system of equations. In this video, I will first show you guys how to use the addition methods to solve for x, y, and z. And in the next video, I will go over how to use the Cramer's rules to solve for um, all these three variables. So to use the um, addition method, we need to first pick a variables and make them have the same coefficients. And in this case, I would like to go with the x, okay, because I have the 1, 2, and 3. Uh, these numbers are smaller than 3, 4, 5, 3, 1, and 4. So I would like to go with the x. So my first goal is to get rid of the x. In that case, I will need to look at the lowest common multiple of 1, 2, and 3. So the lowest common multiple is equal to 6. That means I want to make all the coefficient of x being equal to 6. Okay, so for the first one, I just have 1x. That means I will need to multiply 6 throughout the first equation. So let's see what we get. So I will have 6 times x, I will have 6x, 6 times negative 3y minus 18y, 6 times 3z plus 18z equals to 6 times negative 6, which is negative 36. Okay. And then for the next one, I have negative 2x already. So in that case, I just need to multiply by 3. That's how I can make it to a 6. So I will multiply the second equation by 3. Okay. So I will get 3 times negative 2x. That gives us negative 6x. 3 times 4y, that's plus 12y. 3 times positive z, that's plus 3z. Equals to 3 times 3, that's equal to 9. And then on the third equation, I have 3x already. I need to make this a 6, so I need to multiply by a 2. So I need to multiply by 2 throughout the third equation. 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times negative 5y, it's minus 10y, 2 times positive 4z, plus 8z. That equals to 2 times negative 9, that's negative 18. Okay, so as you can see that, we have all the same coefficients in front of the x. And um, more importantly, we would like to have a positive 6x, and then a negative 6x in the middle, and then another positive 6x. Okay, and the reason for that is, this is very convenient because we are going to just combine two of this, the first two equations first, and then the second two equations next. When I, when I add these two equations, 6x and negative 6x cancel out. I'm not looking at the third equations at the moment. I'm just looking at two equations uh, uh, at the moment. 6x minus 6x, that's 0. And then I just need to do negative 18y plus 12y, and that's negative 6y, negative 6y. It's 18z plus 3z, that's plus 21z. That gives us negative 36 plus 9, it's negative 27. Okay, so this is the result from the addition of these two equations. And I will do that to the second and the third equation. Negative 6x plus 6x is again 0. So that's why, as you can see, that we want to have the same coefficients first. And then uh, it's convenient for us, we want to have a positive, negative, and positive. That way, just like this, negative 6x and positive 6x that cancel out automatically, then we'll produce um, 12y minus 10y is 2y plus 3z plus 8z is 11z. That equals to 9 plus 18, which is negative 9. Okay? So as you can see that we get rid of the x. Right? That's the first step, we got rid of the x. And then in the next case, um, in the next step, we would like to get rid of one of the variables. So if you look at z, I have 21 and 11. It's hard to find the multiple it's hard to find this common multiple of 21 and 11. The number is just too big. And it's relatively 
convenient for us to find the uh, this common multiple of 6 and 2, namely um, just 6, right? So the next, so for my next goal, I would like to get rid of the y, and I need to make them both equal to 6, okay? So to get rid of the y's, the LCM, it's again, I need to have a 6, but then for the first one, I already have negative 6y, so that's good. So nothing changed for the first equation. I have just negative 6y plus um, 21z is equal to negative 27. And then for the next one, I had 2y, but I want to get a 6. So I need to multiply by a 3. 3 times 2y is positive 6y. 3 times 11z is plus 33z. That gives us um, 3 times negative 9, which is also a negative 27. Okay, so let me put it right here. Okay. Um, now as we can see, the y's have the same coefficients and they have opposite signs. So we can just add them up. We can add these two equations up and let's see what we get. Negative 6y plus 6y, well, they cancel out. They cancel each other out very nicely. And then we have 21z plus 33z, that's 54z, equals to negative 27 minus 27, that's negative 54. Okay, so 54z is equal to negative 54. Now we can just solve this question um, the normal way, right? Divide both sides by 54. Divide both sides by 54, so we get z is equal to negative 1. So we got um, one of our variables done. But we are not finished with the question yet. We have to go backwards. We have to go backwards to solve for y, to solve for x. I know this is a long process, this is a long question, but the most important thing, and the most important thing to do all this question is uh, be patient and be organized. And this is how I like to organize my work. I started from all the way to the left, and then just keep going to the right, right? And then I go down, and then guess what? I have to go back. Because once I know z is equal to negative 1, so let me just write this down. Now we know z is equal to negative 1. Go back here, then we have these two equations that we can use to solve for y. And we can make our pick. I can choose the second one because they have smaller numbers. So it's somehow easier. Okay, it's somehow easier. So we know z is equal to negative 1. I will use the second equation. Okay, the second equation in black. I will use 2y plus 11z is equal to negative 9. And what I need to do is just plug in negative 1 into z. So I get 2y plus 11. The z is negative 1. So let me put a parenthesis, let me put a negative 1 inside, that's equal to negative 9. And we just need to work this out the normal way, right? So I have 2y minus 11, it's equal to negative 9. And to solve for y, we just need to add 11 on both sides. And then that's 0, we have 2y equals to negative 9 plus 11, that's 2. So 2y is equal to 2. I can just divide both sides by 2, and then that's how we get y is equal to 1. So I got my second variable done. Okay, so now we have z is equal to negative 1, and y is equal to 1. Then again, I will take this, and I have to go back. Because we have to use either one of these equations um, to solve for x. And in fact, we can go back all the way to the original, because these equations these numbers are smaller than these. So I will actually go all the way back. Let me just draw like a long arrow to here. So I'll come back here. Because now we know um, z is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to 1. Right? So I will come back to here and I will use either of these three. Any of these three will work. I would like to use the first one because the coefficient of x, the original equations, the x is just by itself. 
right? It's not six. Just look at my um, equation in black. So I will use x, my first equation, x minus 3y plus 3c is equal to negative 6. x minus 3y plus 3z is equal to negative 6. And then I'll just need to draw in these two numbers into x and, sorry, into uh, y and z. So I get x minus 3y, let me open the parentheses, and let me put the 1 into the y. Plus 3z, I see a z, I put a parentheses, and the z value is negative 1. So drawing a negative 1, that should equal to negative 6. And then we just need to work this out. So I have x, um, 3 times 1, so we have like right here minus 3, and then 3 times a negative 1, we have a positive, so it's a minus 3, that equals to negative 6. So x minus 3 minus 3, that means x minus 6, it's equal to negative 6. So I just need to add 6 on both sides, because I need to get rid of this negative 6. So these two cancels. And I got x is equal to um, negative 6 plus 6. It's also equal to 0. So what we get is x is equal to 0. And therefore, I got my answer. x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, and c is equal to negative 1. And I think if you just box all your answers, that's fine. And sometimes that, you may see the answer written in this form. Answer. Um, we can write 0 first, the next one we will write y, which is 1, and then the third one we will write z, negative 1. So this is like an um, ordered triple. Um, that's the x value, that's the y value, that's a z value. And because the reason we write it, the reason that we write it like this is because this is an um, alphabetical order, so x, y, z, so 0, 1, negative 1. So that's that's the answer. And again, as I said, just be patient, be organized, and this is how I like to organize my work um, to solve system of equations. And you can just take a look at this one more time.